been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Laird Hamilton's Superfood Creamer. Should you buy it? Now I've been putting this in my coffee for 30 days straight and I'm gonna answer your burning questions. Will it kick you out of ketosis? How does it taste? And could this be better than Bulletproof? So stick around as I answer all of these questions and I give you my final rating at the very end. But first, do me a favor and let me know in the comment section below, have you tried Laird's Superfood Creamer before? Yes or no? And while you're there, why don't you go ahead and give that like button a little tap or a smash or just go on and be as aggressive as you want. Okay, so we are going to break down Laird's Superfood Creamer, the unsweetened version, into a couple of categories. Number one, flavor. Two, health. Three, cost. And number four is what I'm calling the hook scale. So on a scale of one to 10, how addicted am I to this product? Okay, so first things first, who is Laird Hamilton? And no, it is not Dave Asprey's hot older cousin. Laird is a big wave surfer, fitness guru, and coffee connoisseur. AKA, he's American like big wave sports surf guy and yeah, I don't know. He he looks super jack, so I guess we should trust him, right? But in all seriousness, he said he started this company because he was looking for a way to supercharge his day when he was out surfing those big waves and he loves coffee so much, so why not combine the two into this like amazing super fuel? There we go. So in terms of flavor, holy balls. This thing is insane. When blended into coffee, it's got this amazing creamy coconut vanilla flavor to it. Now, of course, if you hate coconut, then I would just say stop watching this video right now. But if not, I highly recommend blending this into your coffee because it adds this really creamy, frothy goodness at the very top, and it is just out of this world. Another thing I love about this product is it is all natural. It tastes natural. It does not taste like chemicals. One of the things that I can't stand about creamers is this artificial aftertaste. You just don't get that with this particular creamer. And that's because it only has three ingredients. Which leads me to my next point, is this thing healthy? So let's go over what it's free of. Gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, vegan, paleo-friendly, and keto-friendly. Holy moly. Sounds pretty healthy, right? So it's called a superfood because it has calcium, potassium, and magnesium in it. And it also contains this calcium from marine algae called aquamine. And basically that means it's a natural multi-mineral complex made of 72 trace minerals. So there you go. That's why it's a superfood. Plus it only has one gram of sugar, per tablespoon, so it has not been enough to kick me out of ketosis. And there's no added sugar and no artificial sweeteners, as I mentioned before. It's literally just coconut milk powder, this aquamine stuff I just told you about, and organic extra virgin coconut oil. Also important to mention that it is much lower in saturated fat than some other creamers I've tried in the past, especially Bulletproof. This has only three grams of saturated fat per serving. When I'm making a Bulletproof coffee with the ghee and the octane oil, it's much more like 12 to 14 grams of saturated fat. And I am actually trying to lower my saturated fat because I'm a hyper responder to it. And as a result, my cholesterol has been jacked. Seeing if getting rid of the Bulletproof for a time being helps with that. And another very important thing is this thing is dairy free. And a lot of creamers out on the market, like your half and half, they have dairy product in it. Um, so it makes it heavier and it makes it definitely richer. But if you're looking to avoid dairy like me, this one is the way to go. So will this break the bank? Well, one of these eight ounce bags is about $10 and there are 38 servings in it, which amounts to about 28 cents a day, so hardly think so. Plus, it's way cheaper than making Bulletproof coffee every day. Now, obviously something like store-bought Coffee Mate is way, way cheaper. That's about three, four dollars. But if you look at the ingredients, there's hydrogenated oils and there's artificial sweeteners and it's not pure natural ingredients plus minerals like this. So, you know, you're really gonna get what you pay for in that case. So you can buy this creamer at Whole Foods, REI, obviously on Amazon, on their website, and I'll link all of that for you guys below. While you're there checking out the description, why don't you go ahead and give me a little like, a little tap, a little smash, whatever you wanna do. Just let us know if you've learned anything useful. Cool. Now this doesn't keep me as full 
available as a Bulletproof coffee, which can keep me going pretty much all day, and doesn't have the same quantity of MCTs. But it does have all four MCTs, C6, C8, C10, and C12, which is just enough to kind of give me a little cognitive boost and a little energy to get my day started. So am I hooked? Well, on a scale of one through 10, I would give this bad boy a solid nine. Yep, you heard me, a 9.0. I literally crave this in my coffee every single morning. In fact, I went out and I bought this plus a couple other bags because I freaking love this stuff and I can't go a day without it. Sometimes I even do two superfood coffees throughout the course of the day just because I love the taste so much. Now, I will note that I have not tried any of their other line of products like their vanilla or the cacao just because those do have a little bit of sugar in them. I think it's like maple syrup or something, so it's healthy, but I am trying to keep in ketosis and that would kick me out. But if you are looking for a cheap alternative to Bulletproof coffee that has lower saturated fat, that actually tastes like vanilla and coconut, it's super creamy, super frothy, and is just excellent in my opinion, go out and get yourself a bag of this stuff. Now what's worked for me is I actually put this creamer into the blender with my coffee for about five to 10 seconds and it makes the coffee super frothy. It gives it this really nice foam and I think it just blends up, the fats of the coconut just blend up with the coffee so much better than if you just stick it in your cup and mix it with a spoon. So we will link to this product below if you guys wanna check it out and let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite coffee creamer? Maybe there's something we haven't tried and we should definitely go and check it out. So let us know in the comments section below. And while you're there, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really makes a difference, you guys. Our video might be able to be seen to a larger audience because of you and your big thumbs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so smash that like button and please catch us on the next one. Thanks. We love you guys. Bye.